no race today guys so therefore i did not miss a thing and got the rest that i so desperately needed i got some extra rest and slept i got to sleep in longer than i initially planned but um today i'm here to talk about like um my vaccination that's gonna come not tomorrow but on wednesday the 31st i like i was mistaken because you know T tomorrow the Spurs play the Kings and yeah and they play them again on the 31st the same day American Housewife airs their season 5 finale so I kind of got it mixed up so I'm here to talk about that and I'm here to talk about you know the Marquise Chris and not the Marquise Chris um the Cam Reynolds and um Gorgie Dang signings the Spurs made and I want to send my thoughts and prayers and a speedy recovery to only Marquise Chris who we said goodbye to only after two or three days and of course Lonnie Skywalker the fourth with that wrist injury who's going to be out for like at least a week or two maybe yeah i think a week or two i think it's that off to double check but anyway let's get into it um so come wednesday i'm getting vaccinated my dad's taking me to get Monder Moder the moderna vaccination i was hoping to get the mark martin vaccination as in pfizer but sadly my dad signed me up to get Monder moderna and not the pfizer one so you're going to be seeing a vlog, vlog of that like you're probably going to see that on april april fool's day since i'm probably going to film it on the 31st the you know april fool's day eve or something like that so I just wanted to update you on that. And I also wanted to like give you an update on what you're going to see on my channel probably in the near future. Like, if I'm going to do Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune parodies, like, you know how I said I can't do Sajak and Trebek jobs at the same time if we're going to do Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy simultaneously? Well, with Jeopardy, you don't, it's a lot cheaper to make a homemade Jeopardy than a homemade Wheel of Fortune. Plus, with homemade Jeopardy, you don't need as much stuff you know, as you would need for a homemade Wheel of Fortune. So therefore, I'll more than likely do Jeopardy first. Well, I'll, I guess I'll do the Trebek job after all. So therefore, I'm already like brainstorming on who my first set of three contestants are going to be and all that stuff. And um, I know I'm going to be Alex Trebek. God bless him. Rest his soul in heaven. Uh, I got to find one of my guy best friends, whether they live in this development or somewhere out there where in the, in the area where I live, you know, to be johnny gilbert it has to be a, some some a random guy who i'm best friends with or it could be a boy too but who knows a young boy too who knows i'm gonna figure that out um we're gonna come like i said we're gonna combine different eras you know with theme music sound effects and closing logos at the end of each and every show and the plan is no returning champions because and we're not, it's going to be like the real show, but also not, not like the real show at the same time. Sure, we're going to use probably trying to get the closest to like matching animations as the real show does. Like we're probably going to use some of the hip Jeopardy music, you know, the rock and roll thing music, the Jep thing music, and some maybe even the daily double graphic from rock and roll Jeopardy. But we're going to, I'm going to talk about that and figure that out in the, in, in the weeks to come, the months to come. You'll, we'll figure it out. And this will probably happen post-COVID when it's safe to have, like, uh, like for people to have, like, guests over their houses. So we're going to figure that out probably post-COVID. If, 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 if that, we're lucky that happens to come this year, most likely during the summer months. But, yeah, um, yeah, what are we going to talk about? Yeah, you're going to see Jeopardy great fan recreations um, um, and, you know, what did that wheel of foot with that that those wheel of fortune fans call it? I know they did wheel of fortune fan fan recreations reenactment. And, yeah, we're gonna do like our ver my version with Jeopardy. We're gonna do Jeopardy fan recreations reenactment parodies. You're gonna see the mummy getting vaccinated on on April Fool's Day, which I'm gonna film the day I get it on March 31st, the day before April Fools. So therefore, that's all I wanted to talk about. And I'm also here to discuss the Cam Reynolds and Gorgie Dang signings for the Spurs. So therefore, I'm glad the front office finally freaking woke up and wanted to do their goddamn job and finally saw what we, us Spurs fans, were saying that we needed an athletic big, you know, to take off to the weight off Big Yak and Live and La Vida Luca's shoulders, especially now with Aldridge gone, you know. Considering that Aldridge was was getting much older, and you know he wasn't like the same player he once was in Portland, and in his early years with us, you know Duncan's last season in fifteen sixteen, and you know the first season without Duncan in sixteen seventeen, people don't people outside of Spurs fans don't realize how close we how close we were to a ring. We won sixty seven games in fifteen sixteen for Duncan's last year, and sixty one games in sixteen seventeen the first full year without Duncan. It was going all according to plan. 
until Parker got hurt in the second round versus the cheating McDouchebags. And then we saw like the beginning of, of the back, the soon to be backstabbers injury. You know, I think that was in game four or game five of the cheating McDouchebags series after Parker got hurt. And I think it was game five because he didn't play the rest of that game when Ginobili swatted hard in at the overtime buzzer to lock up the win for the Spurs. And keep in mind, Kawhi did not play in game six when we blew out the cheating me douchebags in, a, in that closeout game in game six on their home floor. And then Kawhi returned for game one against the Warriors. We were up 25 without Parker and everything. And we were shitting on the Warriors on their home floor. On their home floor. And then, of course, Zadzai happened. And as you, they all say, the rest is history, so I don't need to go in full detail about that, because most people know what happened, but people outside of Spurs fans don't know what, what don't know what, what really happened, because I certainly know what happened, even though I, I wasn't there along with other uh, many other Spurs fans, but anyway, so, so therefore, you know, since, you know, we've become the, uh, the Utah Jazz of the post-John Stockton and ringless pedophile era, you know, Carl Malone, he is, you know, Carl Malone's the ringless pedophile. I mean, I'll discuss, I'll save that discussion for another day. So, the Brian Wright, I mean, I saw a tweet on Twitter saying that Brian Wright got kidnapped by R.C. Buford and, like, came back and gave us two athletic young bigs and Cam Reynolds and Gorgie Dang. And I saw on Twitter that Gorgie Dang shoots 48, Jimmy Johnson 48% from three-pointer. So this is what we so desperately needed. Maybe the season will turn around right here, considering that we started the season very, very well. You know what I mean? And then COVID hit, and then we got the postponed games. And then injuries hit, and then it started, and almost, and like, it was like we started getting a repeat from last year. Like, I'd rather be mediocre to start off the year and then go on a tear to end it, you know what I'm saying? You know, as stressful as this team makes it out to be for me, I only still watch because I'm passionate about this team as I have been for what is now the last 24 years. Next year will be my 25th anniversary as a Spurs fan. So therefore, 25 for Robert Ory. Steve Kerr, Jerome Kersey, rest in peace. And if we're talking NASCAR, it's Jerry Nadeau and Joe Nemechek. So, I, but I thought just to show you how old I am. So, I can't wait because Cam Reynolds looked very, very good last night in his San Antonio debut against the Worthless Bulls. I mean, these Bulls are worthless, but not MJ's Bulls. So, therefore, I give credit to MJ's Bulls words due. So, he looked really, really good last night. Scored his first two two points for his first ever NBA basket, let alone his first San Antonio basket. So Gorgie Dang has not cleared right waivers yet, so I doubt he'll be available against the Kings tomorrow. But the day I get vaccinated when I play the Kings again, I bet you he'll be available then. So I can't wait to see him and Cam Reynolds rock him like Rob Riggle on the court this week together at the same time. So that's all I wanted to come on here and talk about. So with prayers and his prayers, you know, our prayers to Lonnie Walker for a speedy recovery from that wrist injury. And of course, Marquise Chris for, you know, we should have a speedy recovery from that leg injury. It sucks we didn't get to keep him because he would have been dangerous if we would have waited a year to let him play with DeJounte for the 2021-2022 NBA season. But Wherever he goes, I wish him nothing but the best in his future endeavors. So that's all I'm going to say for now. Um, the since some um, the Winston Cup and Craftsman Truck Race on, at the Bristol Dirt Track got canceled for today. I will see you all tomorrow for a full day of NASCAR and Spurs action. The Winston Cup race, the Craftsman Truck Series race, both in the daytime and then at night, the San Antonio Spurs game against the Sacramento Kings. Have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Good night.